Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this tree. I'll be using the tree on my teddy bear's picnic blanket. Next week I'll be adding blossoms and a swing, for a teddy to be swinging on. I'll also use the tree later on, on a jungle baby blanket, but I'll be adding leaves to that. And down the track I'll probably use it with some autumn leaves. I've only crocheted it in four ply crochet cotton and it turned out quite big. The size is 42 centimetres by 24 centimetres or 16 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. If you crocheted it in a thick yarn it would probably be massive I'll be using brown four ply crochet cotton. I've got a darning needle to weave in the end, scissors and a 1.5mm crochet hook. I'm starting at the bottom of the trunk. I start with 24 chain. Row one, I miss the first three chain, then I work one double crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches and I'll work a join double crochet over the last three stitches and I'll have 19 stitches. So I miss the first three stitches and I work a double crochet in the next. A double crochet is a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put the yarn around my hook, hook into the stitch, the fourth stitch from the hook and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. Now I've got three stitches left, I'm going to work a join double crochet over these last three stitches. For a join double crochet I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the first two loops. I've got two loops left, I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, Take the hook with the yarn through the end through two loops and I've got three loops left. 
then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the remaining loops. For row 2 we start with 3 chain, we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. For a join double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next to the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through 2 loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, Take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn through the remaining three loops. And then we work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. And we're going to have 18 stitches. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 18 stitches. So after our two double crochet in the first stitch we're working one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I have two stitches left so I work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 I start with 3 chain and turn. I work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have 17 stitches. 
So one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the four, first four rows done. For row five, we start with three chain. We turn our work and we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row six, we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 14 stitches. So after our join double crochet we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For 
for row 7 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 14 stitches. For row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our join double crochet at the beginning we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 2 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and then work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches.
for row 11 we start with 3 chain and turn we work a join double crochet over the first two stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches so after our join double crochet at the beginning we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches for row 12 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 11 stitches For row 13 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work 2 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two double crochet into the last stitch for row 14 we start with three chain and turn we work a join double crochet over the first two stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches so after our join double crochet over the first two stitches we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches for 
of row 15 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our two double crochet in the first stitch we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. So after our joined double crochet at the beginning we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 3 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work 3 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 2 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches.
one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So I've worked my join double crochet over the first two stitches. Now I work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 20, we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches after our join double crochet. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 21 we start with three chain and turn and we work one double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have seven stitches. For row 22 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work 2 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 8 stitches. So 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 23, we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. So after our two double crochet in the first we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 24 we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches.
1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 8 stitches. So after our join double crochet we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 25 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work three double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So we've worked two double crochet into the first stitch, now we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work three double crochet into the last stitch. For row 26, we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first three stitches. Work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. So after our join double crochet we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 27 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have six stitches. So after our join double crochet we're working one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 28 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have five stitches. For 
for row 29 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 5 stitches. For row 30 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 2 double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 31 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches One double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 32 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So two double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and then a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 33 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 5 stitches. For row 34 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 4 stitches. So 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 35 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches One double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch.
For row 36 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 37 we start with three chain and turn and we work one double crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 38 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 39 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 3 stitches. So 1 double crochet in each of the first 2 stitches and then a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 40 we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 41 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a joined double crochet over the first 2 stitches. And work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 42 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each of our 3 stitches. For row 43 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of our 3 stitches. For row 44 we start with 2 chain and turn and we work 1 half double crochet in the first stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a double crochet into the next stitch and a treble into the last stitch. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a, double, for a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, 
hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook through the remaining loops. For row 45 we start with 4 chain and turn. We're going to work a treble in the first stitch double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. This is just bending the branch down to start. We're starting on the branch. The trunk's finished and we're just starting on the branch now. For row 40 sticks we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 47 we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row 48 we start with three chain and turn and we work one double crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 49 we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 50 we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 51 we start with 4 chain and turn. We work 1 treble into the first stitch. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice. A double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 52 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches and one double crochet in the last stitch. For row 53 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each of our 2 stitches. For row 54 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of our 2 stitches. For row 55 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work a join double crochet over our 2 stitches.
Now for rows 56 to 61 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into our stitch. So that's rows 56 to 61. Now that's row 61 done. For row 62 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 3 double crochet into the stitch. For row 63 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch. For row 64 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the stitch. For row 65 we start with 3 chain and turn and work one double crochet into the stitch. And for row 66 we start with three chain and turn, work one double crochet into the stitch, work three chain and fasten off. Now we're going to join our yarn just in this first stitch on row 62. We've got the three stitches there and we only worked up one stitch. So we join there. and work 3 chain. We work 1 double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then 1 double crochet into the next stitch. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the stitch. For row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the stitch. And then we work 2 chain and fasten off.
Now I'm going to join my cotton in this stitch that's left just in there and I'm going to work seven chain and fasten off. That's just for a twig. Next I'm going to add a small branch to the top of my branch. Now I'm going to use this side as the right side. So I've got the part that slopes down towards the front and I'm going to find halfway between the bend, that's where I did the two rows with the half double crochet just in there and where I did my three double crochet. So I'm going to bend it in half and find halfway between and that's going to be where I'm starting my next branch. So I join my cotton and work three chain and then I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work a half double crochet which is a half treble in the UK in the first stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch. For row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn. I work a double crochet in the first stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 4 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in the first stitch. For row 5 I start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet in the stitch. For row 6 I'm going to start with 22 chain Now I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next four chain. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook through both loops. I need one more single crochet into the next three stitches. Then I work two single crochet into the following stitch and then I work one single crochet into each stitch down to the branch.
then slip stitch into the branch. Now work three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches down the side of the branch. Now we're going to continue working on those two stitches. We work three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch. And then we work 18 chain We work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A half double crochet into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the following stitch. Then work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. Work one single crochet into each of the following two chain. Work six chain. We miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch down to the branch. We work across a double crochet as well and then just continue down to the branch. Slip stitch into the branch and work 10 chain.
and fasten off. Next we join our cotton in row 3 of this last branch. So just in this stitch here and work 10 chain We miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the following two chain. Then we work six chain miss two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next six stitches. Then work 12 chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each stitch back to the branch Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. And that's the top branch done. I'll just weave in those ends and then we're going to do a branch just a bit lower down to have my swing hanging from. Now I'm starting on the swing branch now. I join my cotton at the top of row 42 on the trunk on this side, the side that slopes up. I go up to row 42. It's just a couple of rows down from the bend where I did the half double crochet. So I join in there. For row 1 I start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. For 
for row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn. I work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches and work 1 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 5 I start with 3 chain and turn I work 1 double crochet in the first stitch and 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. I leave the last stitch. For row 7 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 8 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 9 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 10 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 2 double crochet into the first stitch. For row 11 I start with 3 chain and turn I work one double crochet in the first stitch and one half double crochet in the last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble in the UK. For row 12 I start with two chain and turn. I work a half double crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 14 I start with 3 chain and turn I work 1 double crochet in the first stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work a half double crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch. For row 16 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 17 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work a half double crochet in the first stitch 
and a double crochet in the last stitch. For row 18 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 19 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 20 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 21 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 22 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch. For row 23 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 2 double crochet into the stitch. For row 24 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 25 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 26 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 27 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. For row 28 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch. For row 29 I start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet into the stitch. For row 30 I start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet into the stitch. For row 31 I start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet into the stitch. For row 32 I start with 10 chain I miss the first chain and slip stitch into each of the following three chain. I work a joined single crochet over the next two chain. For a joined single crochet I put my hook into the first stitch and bring it up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook through all the loops. And then I work 
a single crochet into each remaining chain slip stitch into the branch work 6 chain and fasten off And that's the first part of the swing branch done. Next we join our cotton to this last stitch at the end of row 27. So in there, just before we go to one stitch the, at the end of the branch. And we work 23 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. And we work three chain Miss one chain and slip stitch into each remaining chain. Then work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the branch. Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. Next we're going to join our cotton to row 25 of our swing branch. Row 25 is two rows past this section here where we've got our leftover double crochet. So just in here and we start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches.
for row two, we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch. For row three, we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch. For row four, we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into the first stitch. We miss the last stitch. For row five, we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into the stitch. Then we work 15 chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next seven stitches. Work four chain, miss the first chain and slip stitch in each stitch back to the branch. Slip stitch into the end of the branch and fasten off. Next we join our cotton. In this stitch here, in the section we were just working, the stitch we left and work two chain and one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. For row two we start with three chain and turn and work one half double crochet in the stitch. Then we work five chain Miss the first chain and slip stitch into each chain to the branch.
then slip stitch into the branch, work out chain, miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. And then work a single crochet in each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. Next we're going to join our cotton in the last stitch on row 5. So that's just at the beginning of the branch. There's one stitch left there. So we join our cotton in there. and work three chain and we work one double crochet and one treble in the same stitch as a chain. A treble is a double treble in the UK. We put the yarn around the hook twice. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a join double crochet over the 2 stitches. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into the stitch. For row 4 we start with 8 chain We miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch into each of the next 2 stitches Then we work 4 chain, we miss 1 chain and work 1 slip stitch in each stitch down to the branch. We slip stitch into the branch and work 17 chain We miss one chain and slip stitch into each of the next six chain. We work two single crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. Then we work a single crochet into each stitch down to the branch.
slip stitch into the branch and pass them off. I'll just weave in some of those ends and I'll be back and we'll work a branch in between. Now I'm going to work a branch about halfway between these two branches at the top of my swing branch. So probably in about this stitch here. I'll join my cotton and I work nine chain. I miss one chain and I work a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. Then I work nine chain I miss one chain and I work one single crochet into each of the following four stitches. Then I work five chain. I miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next five stitches. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch till four stitches before my branch. I've got four stitches left so I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. And that's a swing branch finished. My tree's going up against the edge of the blanket, so on this right side I'm going to do a partial branch. Now I'm going to join my cotton 34 rows up from the bottom. It's about seven or eight rows down from the swing branch. So just in here it's just after it goes into about four stitches and we start with three chain I work a join double crochet over the first two stitches
and then one double crochet into the following stitch. For row two, I start with three chain and turn. I work one double crochet in the first stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row three, I start with two chain and turn. I work one half double crochet in the first stitch. That's a half treble in the UK. A double crochet in the next stitch and a treble in the last stitch. A treble is a double treble in the UK. You put your yarn around the hook twice. For row four, I start with three chain and turn, work one double crochet in the first stitch and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And fasten off. Next I'm going to work a branch. I'm going to join just after the bend here. Just in about there. And I work three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row two, I start with three chain and turn and work a joined double crochet over the two stitches. For row three, I start with three chain and turn and work two double crochet into the stitch. For row four, I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet in the first stitch. For row five, I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into the stitch. And then I work 30 chain. I missed one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. I work a single crochet into the following stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. A joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And then one single crochet into the following stitch. Then I work seven chain. I 
I miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the previous twig, so down to here. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch down to the branch. If you can hear a funny noise, it's my dog snoring in the background. She's been with my son for a lot of the time I've been filming, but it's been a long video, so she got a bit upset and needed to be close. Slip stitch into the branch, work 9 chain, and fasten off. Next I join my cotton to row 3 of this last section I did. So just in that stitch there that we missed. And work 2 chain and one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. For row two, we start with four chain and work one half double crochet in the stitch. And then we work seven chain miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain work four chain Miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the following three stitches. Then work 
one single crochet into each stitch down to the branch. Slip stitch into the branch, work three chain, and fasten off. Now, lastly, I'm going to work a small side branch, three rows up from my partial branch. So I join my cotton three rows up. So in here, and I work 16 chain. I miss one chain and I work one slip stitch in each of the next six stitches. Then I work 12 chain I miss one chain and I work one slip stitch into each stitch down to this join. and then work one single crochet into each stitch down to the branch. Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. Now the last thing I'll, I'll do is just work a couple of random twigs, just anywhere that it looks like it's a bit bare. So this long branch here. I'll just join my cotton and then just work as many chain as you think. I'll probably work about 12 for here. And fasten off. And I'll work a little twig just 
at the bottom of my swing branch, probably just about here. Just back from the second last little branch and I'll work seven chain. I'll miss one chain and work a half double crochet into the next one and then work a single crochet into each stitch down to the branch. Slip stitch into the branch and fasten off. And you could work some more twigs, maybe one on this twig here. I'll just Join in there and work about seven chain. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll iron the tree in to position and I'll be back to show you the finished tree. And there's the finished tree. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.